Hey guys, it's Devin and Chris. We are here for part two of Chris's birthday surprise. So if you guys haven't watched part one, make sure to go watch part one. If you guys have forgot, we actually made a vlog of this and the sound did not record. And we were thinking about tossing the video, but we just thought it was so much fun and a very fun experience that we wanted to show you guys. Uh, so what we're doing instead is we're kind of doing a reaction and like a voiceover to the parts that didn't catch sound. So make yep. sure to tune in and continue watching. Let's get started. Commentary. I love this song. <laughs> So we're here waiting, if you guys didn't watch part one, we, we had a really big uh, birthday surprise for Chris, so yeah. we're here waiting. You know, it's actually funny because when we were having dinner, you were like, oh, I have this surprise for you. And I'm yeah. like, ooh, what is it? Wait, don't tell me. You're like, let me tell you. And I'm like, don't tell me. <laughs> and then they sent a text to my phone. Anyways, I got I got a text and it was like blatantly saying what it was. And I was like, Here it is. We got front, front seats. Yeah, so the way they do it is they like distribute it by weight. Because uh, you have to be very careful where people sit and luckily we were able to still sit together and be in the front Because sometimes they have to separate parties because mm -hmm. they need to make sure it's at a good weight So people don't crash and die They're like super strict like everyone stay in the spots marked on the ground. Yeah, there's like if you like step out of it, it's a federal crime. Crime, like they were like They're like the feds are watching you. I know a lot of you guys the customer service was I was pretty disappointed. Um, like the pickup guy, he was super nice. The check-in women, super nice. But like there was the people <laughs> rounding us up, so rude. You guys should Felt really like cattle. <laughs> yeah, and um, it's really unfortunate. And I get why they were like so strict. But it's like there was some parts where it's like, come on, enjoy your work day. So that was a little disappointing, especially for the price we paid. So if kinda you guys like, are watching, like, come on, work on Kind of like, her, yeah, like that whole customer experience, like everything was great. And then like, there's just certain people that like, I understand they're doing their job, job and like they want to put safety first, but there's always a way to enhance the customer experience. Whereas these guys, I feel like they could give a rat's butt about it. <laughs> I feel like they just deal with too many drunk people, so they assume that's, everyone's a that's understandable. ignorant drunk person. But it's like, come on, this is your job. Like, let us enjoy the experience, especially because yeah. it is really expensive. But this, yeah. I forgot all about it at this point. Yeah, the pilot, the, was, the really pilot nice. was so nice. He was answering questions for you, right? Yeah, he was so nice. Here we are. It's like what, 15 minutes? Yeah, it was only 15 minutes, but it does, it's worth it. First time in a helicopter? First time in a helicopter? Yeah, it was my first time in a helicopter, so that was really cool. We are back. I have no idea what we're talking about. I think we were gonna get food, because it wasn't too late. Maybe like 8.30 or 9. Yeah, we got home early. We but are such like we were... parents. We go to sleep at like 10. When we go out, but yeah. when we're at home, we're like work, 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 Running. 2 a.m. We were up early that day. We were. We woke up we early. Um, oh no, we didn't drive. We, we drove to the airport. Which is, we drove. We woke up early. Drove to the airport. Oh, I think we were gonna go there. check out the. There was a candy bar downstairs. I wanted to check out. Oh right. But we didn't end up buying any drinks because the drinks were like thirty dollars for just like a small one. Uh, so we didn't end up. So now we're back. And I am tired. Obviously. We're watching what like little people they grow. I think it was. Or I like, think it was. Or like no. the home, home to HGTV channel. Oh, we were watching Little Houses. Little ho Oh, yeah. yeah. People move into little homes. Yeah, we were talking about it. I swear, every time we go on vacation, we just sit and watch TV. Because, <laughs> like, at home, we never get to just sit and relax and watch TV. We're always constantly working. But, yeah. Here's the room. I love the artwork. Snack. Yeah, we got snacks, lots of snacks. And like you, the, I love doing that. We always do that. We always we do. We get snacks. We're such homebody. Drinks, sodas, and juices. Oh, and it's morning time. It's the morning. And that's basically how our night ends. The snacks. Snacks. Watching TV. Watching TV. We were out. Look, I showered. <laughs> I had a 
shaved head for a while now. You've had a shaved head. This is the longest you've kept a hairstyle. <laughs> well, technically, you dyed it blue. This is me just being like, I am tired. It's early. Give me some coffee and a teacup. It just really sucked. There was no room service. I had to meet our Uber Eats driver um, outside because I guess they're not letting anybody go up to the room and drop it off. And uh, there are like two valets here. She was at the other one and we got confused. So I uh, had to run around a bit, but got it. And we're gonna head up, have some coffee. You know what's strange is there was no coffee machine or, or anything, or coffee or tea, but they had um, those hot beverage cups in the room. I was like, that's interesting. They're gonna give you cups for coffee or, or tea, but no coffee or tea. And I think this was the first hotel room where we didn't have that. But, weird. Let's go inside. We are leaving. I can only do Vegas for a day. I could probably yeah. do Vegas for two days if I plan out like the day and go to like that little cool shopping center or like the pirate place is pretty cool. Um, I felt like one day was plenty. Yeah, I mean, one day in Vegas is a lot. Like I saw what I needed to see. My first time seeing a show. Yeah, you haven't really yeah. been to Vegas except for like when you were a kid. So we actually wanted to stop by the gift shop because anytime we go away for work or go away for our birthdays, because uh, we do have to go away for work sometimes, we always make sure to get the kids a present because that's our favorite thing when we get home. Yeah. They're like, present time. They're like, so, what's up? What you got? Yeah, exactly. And then also we get uh, my mom a present or my dad a present because my mom's the one that watches them. <laughs> Uh, for us so much for work. They're so amazing. The real MVPs. They are. Oh, we got to sell the Ola. We did. We did. Elsa, mm -hmm. favorite. She has that Elsa from the first time. And that Aunt Anna. Mm -hmm. So, Drisilla collects Olaf dolls. She has four. like four now, but when she was a baby, it was her first plushie ever. And she carried it everywhere for an entire two years of her life. It was like her blankie. She had to have Olaf with her and she ended up losing it. And so now she keeps collecting them and then somehow she found them all after all these years. So now we have a lot of Olaf. Tan loves this book. He does. He does. He loves, like, he'll bring it to you to press the button. Oh, there's my purse! I use this purse all the time. You guys have probably already seen it in videos. I am a Disney. Disney. Freak. It's a good song. I love that purse. It was, I was like, saw it and I need it. Always wanted a Disney purse. This is us just recapping. We, well, we bought everything yeah. and then had to like stuff it in the suitcase. We did. <laughs> out in the lobby. We did. That's all we brought, just your suitcase and mine, that was it. Yeah, because we don't need that much. We could probably fit everything in just one suitcase, honestly. Yeah. We, we're so good to this point where we just bring one outfit for the next day. It's yeah. just, we travel so much now. And it was like one day. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't have too much stuff to pack. That's my other hoodie that I got for it my is. birthday present. I love both of them. So weird seeing my hair light. I had light hair for what, five months? So here we are, we're gonna go to our Going Uber. Back. That was so fun. Utah! Utah's so beautiful. Our mountains are to die for. I feel like Utah doesn't get enough credit. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we're really sorry that we didn't record this sound. And we're also sorry yeah. that it's like three months later. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys like this video, let us know. Also, let us know down in the comments what you guys did this year for your birthday. And don't forget to always be you. And have fun. And have fun. Bye. Yo.